वेलकम बैक टू एम एल डी वर्ल्ड चैनल टूडे फ्रेंड्स आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर यू इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू जी सिक्स बी डी टेस्ट इन अ वेरी ईजी वे सो लेट स्टार्ट द लेक्चर फर्स्ट जी सिक्स बी डी स्टैंड फॉर ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट डी हाइड्रोजिनेस एंड वट इज जी सिक्स पी डी जी सिक्स पी डी इज एन एनजाइम दैट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर रेड ब्लड सेल्स एज रेड ब्लड सेल्स आर very important cells in our body and the function of red blood cell is to deliver oxygen to the each cells and as we know oxygen is very important for the growth of the cells to be health and to keep healthy our cells oxygen is important so red blood cell will deliver oxygen from the lungs to the every cells in our body so that cells will grow and reproduce and stay healthy so what is the function of g6pd g6pd actually protects our red blood cells from a free radical chemical that name is reactive oxygen species and it will protect our red blood cells from this chemical but if anyone have low level of g6pd or g6pd deficiency then red blood cells will be at risk because that time as normal red blood cell shelf life is 120 days but that time red blood cell will start to lies earlier than their life period and g6pd deficiency is genetic disorder and in hemolytic anemia one of the most important type of hemolytic anemia is also g6pd g6pd deficiency will affect more males than the females in males more quickly symptoms also will appear so what are the symptoms if anyone have g6pd deficiency first of all if there will be fatigue and there will be yellow color uh skin that we will call pale color pale or yellow color skin that we will call as jaundice in which eyes and skin will become yellow next is dark or orange yellow colored urine rapid heart rate shortness of breath so what are the conditions that will trigger uh to appear the g6pd symptoms or that will appear trigger hemolytic symptoms also that include bacterial and viral infections fever beans that we will call as fevism and medications such as antibiotics anti malarial tablets or non steroidal and anti inflammatory drugs that we will call nas nsaid so what type of sample is required to perform g6pd test to g6pd test is performed by blood and blood will connect uh, sorry collect through the vein of the patient in an edta tube edta is an anticoagulant and that the color of the cap is the purple color i will show you also so in edta tube whole blood is required to perform this test any time sample can collect but fasting is not required for this test but the important point if there are some medication sulfa medications have to stop so if anyone is taking that medication the healthcare provider will tell them to stop the medication to perform before to perform this test that medications include there are sulfa medications and that will include some types of antibacterial medication medicines anti fungal medicines anti convulsant and water pills that we will call diuretics so what are the result of g6pd it's better to perform g6pd quantitative test always that will get give more accurate result normal range is 4.6 to 13.5 u per ghb that is quantitative g6pd result so if value will be less than 4.6 it means g6pd deficiency some normal ranges will affect according to the clinic as i told before that women have if women have slightly lower than normal range like 3.6 4.0 then symptoms will not be appear and she will be as a carrier because one gene is normal and one gene g6pd deficiency she is carrying but in males 
their symptoms will appear more fast and uh, males uh, can will be at more risk because their symptoms will appear more and they have only one x so the defective gene only they have and there is a chance of uh, uh, need treatment more fast than the females but if anyone have g6 if any male have g6 p deficiency in that case both parent have to perform their tests male and females so this was the information related to G6PD test. I hope you like the video. Please share, subscribe also channel. And if you want to get knowledge related to any other test also, please write in the comment box that which test you want to know. I will share information related to that also. But do not forget to press like button, share button and subscribe also. Thank you.